Hello everybody, my name is Bodens and welcome to a new trading tip from me. Now this is a good technique to use if you want to do some silver trading with around like 50,000 coins, somewhere around that mark. I would always recommend if you have over 100,000 coins like I do now to do informed trading. But a lot of people have been asking me about this silver trading method that I do in um, Trading Steam of the FRK. You can check my series um, of trading in the link below and they will kind of just show you what I do and how well I actually do this method. Um, basically because this is what I do until I get like 100k. This is this and the fourth method this and the force method is a really nice way to actually um search for silver players. So this is this this is the um preferences that I use. I, I have level silver um so that's just gonna bring you up silver players. Minimum price nothing or any sorry. Uh, maximum price five hundred and by now minimum price five two thousand. Now this is gonna um filter out any silvers um, for you all to pick up um, that could be cheap. Now you can check these prices um, when you literally just go to the um, actual market. I know that Fox is worth something, so I'm just going to add him to the uh, watch list. So this is what you want to do. You just want to go through. Think anybody. If you think anybody's worth anything, just add them to the watch list, and then um, go go and search their prices if you're unsure of their prices. Now I really do know the uh, market for silvers, so um, I do know what people are worth. Now I know Musa can go for like about 3k. As you can see, he's up for that price right now. He may even get by now at that. Um, I would know that one Yammer does as well. And these are all people that you can just pick up really nice and cheap. I think Driver can go for a little bit. And and also you can pick up um, nice buy nows anyway. Um, you never know with people that could be doing a really bad mistake. I think DeLuca does go for something. And you can also check um, their skill rate and everything. If they have 4 star skills that usually is an indication that they're going to go for a little bit. And of course pace and a good high stat is usually what you can look for. And also what I like to do is change this up. Another one I like to use instead of 500 and 2000 is 1000 and 3000. And you can also adjust the other ones as well if you really want to do that. But that, that kind of um, stops um, anything from happening as you can see I actually just messed that search up and so this just changes it all up again and means that um, the higher by now means you're going to get um, bigger players apparently um, but people always do kind of over predict the prices of their silver cards um, basically because they see a few 74 stats and think it is amazing I do think that goalkeeper there might go for a little bit I've never seen him before but if you look at his stats they're really awesome as well as um, Hennessy um, I, I don't really um, go with goalkeepers in any trading, but I would definitely like to try them out. As you see, Anino there, I've already added into my watch list. I've been searching a little bit earlier, and he's coming down to my price now. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the method I use. You can go all the way up to five and 10,000, but remember, um, all all the cards are kind of no more than 2,000 and 5,000. That's where most of the silver cards are. That's the maximum you're going to really be going to find a lot of players. So anyway, guys, this method is mostly um, useful when you're... Um, in the morning kind of GMT time. If you're in America, I don't really know what it is. I think it might be late at night for you. Um, so yeah, just basically high traffic times, it's not best, um, works, but in low traffic times, it works really well because there's no one around to outbid you. It's the same with any bidding, bidding, um, technique that I use. Um, I prefer it to do it in the morning when there's not a lot of people on, or, you know, late at night when there's not a lot of people on. So anyway, guys, that has been the method. If it has helped, um, please do drop a like. I know a lot of you have been asking how I do my silver training techniques. Um, so make sure to drop a like so I know that, um, I can do some more techniques in the future and you will really enjoy them and hopefully find them useful if you're new on here subscribe for more there'll be an annotation at the end to do that and also on the video or underneath the video right now so thank you all for watching guys and i hope you have a great day